Hey guys, welcome back to Raven and God Roth's Tarantulas. So today we have unboxings and a housing, rehousing rather. Sorry, obviously there's gonna be housings because we have an unboxing, but um, I'm also going to rehouse um, one of my arboreals in this video. Um, Sammy the spider, she's our Caribbean Versa color or the um, uh, Antilles pink toe or Martinique pink toe. Um, Sorry, there's a storm outside. <laughs> it keeps distracting me. Um, but yeah, um, I just opened this part so far. I haven't checked anything. It just came. Um, I opened this part because I'm not coordinated enough to do it with one hand. And um, obviously it has my address on the outside of it. So yeah. All right, so let's see what we got here. God, my hand looks weird on camera today. I don't know why. All right, so we have this. Um, I did take out the little, there was um, uh, some pamphlets with it sitting on top of this that I took out. Um, but yeah, this is from uh, Fear Not Tarantulas. So I've heard really good things about them. Um, I think I may have ordered from them one other time. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see here. All right, so um, we're gonna cut here real fast and then we're going to flip to me um, having unwrapped this because I don't want to, uh, I'm really, really clumsy and I have bad luck and I don't want to risk flipping them out and chucking it across the room on accident. Um, so give me just a second to get them out of here. So these guys obviously do a really good job packing because that was just for the top. So um, I think they're all in here. Yes, all three. So, um, what I got was a pumpkin patch tarantula, and I got um, iridescent blue, and I got and and by the way, the pumpkin patch came as a freebie when I ordered um, the other two. So um, that was pretty cool. Sorry, little messages from Microsoft in the background, um, but yeah. But here is the one I've been wanting. So I got the iridescent blue and I got the pumpkin patch for free. And, um, oh, I love this. They are very secure. Hey, Pocotheria Metallica. I've got my goody sapphire. So I wasn't, I mean, it said these sizes online, but I tend to over or underestimate drastically a lot of the times I overestimate <laughs> um so I wanted to wait till they came before I prepared their enclosures um and plus one of the enclosures hopefully it comes tomorrow it got delayed um it's for the pokey yay my goodie sapphire my pokotherium metallic I'm so excited and then my pumpkin patch tarantula which I've always wanted one of those too and then the iridescent blue um which recently became on my, or re I can't talk, <laughs> recently ended up on my wish list. So um, I'm really excited. All right, so we will uh, take a look here. Let me pop the little tops off and we'll so be right each back. of these lids um, had tape on them and they were very secure and they are so well packed, like really well packed. Um, so, I believe, uh, what should we start with first? Maybe that one? Let's see. There's my check on all of our friends here. Oh, I see your tiny little guy way down in there. So I'm probably gonna need two hands to get him out. Probably most of these guys. Just because I'm so paranoid. Sorry, my floor is a mild mess because I was preparing enclosures last night before I realized it was a bad idea. I um, <laughs> should just wait for everything to get here. So this. Her iridescent blue friend. Oh, I scared her. Um, so I know she's okay because I just uh, poked around in the fluff and I saw the little legs disappear. So that one. And then 
just want to make sure everybody's okay. Oh my gosh, look at this. I have like hairs that I'm shedding in between just filming stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. That's a goody sapphire. Um, so this one I think is going to be a little bigger. So I might also need two hands for this. So we will uh, dig these guys out and we will be back when we are good to rehouse them. And I have little enclosures. Yeah, go beans. All right, so we have um, three new additions and one rehousing. Um, first edition, I haven't um, named him or her yet. We always assume they're hers. This is my uh, Terranopelma Sazamai or the Iridescent Blue Tarantula which is pretty cool, very itty bitty. And then we also have a Hapalopa species Columbia, which is the pumpkin patch tarantula, also very tiny. Yep. So, and then we have a Coplatheria metallica sling, which I'm super excited about. I'm just being gentle because I see her at the very top and hopefully she doesn't run out or anything when we get her out. So, uh, we will go ahead and start by rehousing our little iridescent blue friend here. You can kind of see in there. Focus. Focus. There we go. Kind of see in there. Taking little bits out. <laughs> oh no. So I had most of these like out where you could see them and they have Reburied themselves. Hi, my friend. Alright, I'm gonna try to get this one out. Give me just a second. There we go. Got her out. I had to be gentle. So, I needed two hands for that. But yeah, look how tiny she is. So, we're going to go ahead and try. Can you see it? I can't tell if you can see it. I have the setup on a tripod and I'm failing at this miserably. Um, we will try to get her in here using my tiny Put a pre killed cricket in there for her later. Alright, so that's one down. Yeah. Alright, let's get our other one ready. Yay, here we have our little pumpkin patch spider. Look at her. Oh, she's getting bright. Look at her. She's already come out on her own. She's like, oh, you opened the lid. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna come right out here. Oh no, no, <laughs> you're like, no, no, get back. No, 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 come back my friend. Come on, buddy. I think she's hungry. <laughs> it's like she's trying to eat it. You know what, if you get in here, okay, you get in here nice and easy. I can feed you. How does that sound? Look at that. Right there. Little dude right 
good day, dear. Okay, we will work on getting you a meal here in just a moment, my friend. Okay. This is our pumpkin patch from that one. All right. Next, we will have our goodie sapphire. And here we are going to rehouse our new Hopletheria Metallica or Goody Sapphire Ornamental. Also pretty small, but not as dinky as the other ones. So um, again, these guys don't have names yet. Once I get, get name, get, I can't tell, get to naming them. <laughs> I will let you know. I'm going to print out a little sticker for them. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's see how, how this goes. <laughs> Since it's an old world and they tend to be, I mean, really all babies are flighty, but where did, what did I do with my, I, I lost my uh, paintbrush, oh no, okay, oh, found it, oh, yay, sorry, um, found my paintbrush, so hopefully we don't uh, have any incidents with this. Beautifully done. <laughs> nice, I love it. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Whoosh. Look at my nice little goody sapphire buddy. I'm so excited. So um yeah, that one that one went really smooth. Good, because that's an old world. I mean it's just a baby, but one day it won't be. Um, so yeah. There we go. Let's uh, get on to rehousing Sammy yeah, because I've been talking about it forever. So I'm um, sorry about the dirt on my floor. I've obviously been making enclosures and stuff. So uh, anyway, yeah, uh, let's move along. All right. And here we have the rehouse for Sammy the spider, who is my Caribbean Versa color sling. As you can see, she's getting kind of big. So we're actually going to put her in this nice, cool enclosure. That has this cool little front opening thing happening. Yeah, see that? Super cool. It would be a lot easier to feed her and stuff without messing up her web because every time I have to lift this up, see? I have to destroy her beautiful web and I feel terrible. And she's gonna take off maybe. We'll see. Come on, Sammy. I know, I'm sorry. Done. Look at her. Trust me, Sammy, you're gonna like this much better. Look how big her butt is. Look, look how big she's gotten. God, she's so pretty. Okay. Enough gawking at you. Let's um let's scoot you out here, buddy. Should be pretty easy rehouse, I'm hoping. Oh my gosh. 
Why are you giving me so much trouble? Everyone else always takes off out of their enclosure and you're just like, I refuse to leave. Which is usually a good thing. Don't get me wrong, that's usually a good thing, but right now it is not. How about you get in here and I'll feed you. Oh my gosh, Sammy. I'm just gonna chase you in a circle until you come out. Sammy, come on. There we go. Hey, look. Look, look. There we go, see? That's right. Come on. Woo, woo, woo. Sammy. <laughs> Broski. My love. Come on. Sammy. 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 Get in here, Sammy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, you're already half out. Go all the way. No. No, not back in. Ow. Ow. Sammy. Are you kidding me? No, 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 Sammy. Stan. There you go. <gasps> Ta da! Oh no. Sammy, no, come on. My gosh. Are you kidding me right now, Sammy? Nope. Oh yeah, there you go. Look at that. Boop. Okay. Solidly, probably feels like an hour trying to get you in there. I know it wasn't actually that long, Sammy. I'm just kidding. Oh, I am so sorry. Not mean to insult you. All right. She's already moving along in there. See? Choo choo choo. Yay! Nice big fancy enclosure for you now. Woohoo! All right. All right. Well, that concludes our videos for today. So, um, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I do have a feeding video coming up very, very soon. All right. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.